Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Backpack Trader Training Room for June 10th, 2021. All right, lots of back and forth this morning. We got about three minutes before market open. Trade today has been active, and I'll come back to that in just a few minutes on the Pound Aussie. Crude oil unfortunately took a 16 tick full stop, so down 32 there. Getting in the short at 902.38 and taking that for a full stop. That, that was a situation where we were in a wait and see because both of these trades were valid at one point. So we had the short set entry and the long entry set up and waiting for the first, first one to trigger and the first one to trigger was the short. And that canceled the long. We got a second short trade signal that never triggered in and did cancel. So we're flat and waiting for our first trade there. Unleaded gas, back and forth here. We've had two, had a stop and reverse, a break even, and we're now in the long. And although the on Pound Aussie, the calculator is tracking that short because of the stop and reverse adjustment, it has not triggered in and it has canceled now. So we're still in the long trade. And markets are open now. And the YM is has a get in sync SMA trade. The Russell was in an early short, so we'll look Russell we do not get in sync with when we do trade it. And so we'll look at it, wait to look for another setup there. Soybeans. We've got the potential for a short trade on soybeans. And there it is. That so far, that's a get in sync too fast to catch up with that's at 7025 and unleaded stopping and reversing back to short again at 2209 Still looking for trade number two on crude. And we have hit money management on our pound Aussie trade, or at least on my chart.
picking up a target one. So that will help us. And that will be our second money management trade. So that definitely is going to be a POQ and unleaded. Trying to process down through the 50 EMA needs to get a little lower to get money management. There's money management on the rough on unleaded. And the YM went too far. That trade cancels. No opportunity to get back to get in sync with it. All right, crude now in a short. Okay, the soybean short very, being successful. All three targets, a nice trail. Pound Aussie still in the long trade. Stop at 82.67. And they stop and reverse on crude oil at 53.
and the long has triggered in on crude. So that did stop and reverse from short to long. And that is trade. This is trade number three. So this is the last trade of the 9 a.m. session, mini session. Unleaded hitting target two. And coming back, stopping out on a stop and reverse. I'll have to check to see if we need should be in that. But you know, if, if you're trading it, the key would be if you're positive on unleaded or not. If you're not positive, then you would be in this long trade. Right, the Russell picked up a long trade that went to target two and is trailing. The YM trade that we had, had pre-market is being been very successful. Unfortunately, we're not in that trade. And Pound Aussie did stop out on its break-even trailer. And that ends the session. That is a POQ session on the Pound Aussie. Crude just kind of back and forth now, now that it's triggered in. It got up to a high of 58 and testing that again. So we'll have to see if, see if it can make it. 71 is the money management with 73 is target. Yeah, the YM took off on us. Just a little bit too early to catch up on, catch up with. Unleaded, trying to make its way to its money management, as is crude. And there is our first trade on the YM. 
couple of pullbacks and minor pullbacks. But that was a long or a short rather at 706 and did give you time to get in it. That's not a big trade, just 23 for target one. So probably take go for target two on that one at 35. Money management. So stop comes to 70, 706. That will be a literally a true break even. If you're trading target one, that has been achieved. For 23 ticks, 683, looking for 671 for target two. Looks like missed by, yeah, missed by one tick. I, that definitely is a trade for profit situation. I would bring the position stop up to target one. And the next time it comes down, there's 72 again. I, I would would have marketed out on that one. But that that is within one tick of target or target with T1 target one. So you're definitely going to be POQ, and there's full target. So it's definitely a POQ for the YM. And crude getting up as high as 65 and now back down in the low 50s again, right around entry. Stop and reverse entry was 53. And unleaded with a stop and reverse at... 2209 again. YM stop at 701. No, that's not right. That can't be right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and this is a short. So, yeah, 701. And the Russell is done. And unleaded, reversing to short again. Yeah, two two o nine. And that actually is a couple of ticks positive. Good morning, Miles, Al, Roger, and Don. Please do say hello if you're in the room. Uh, that's the only way we know who who's in the more here in the mornings. Hit the like button. To help Troy's channel with the YouTube algorithm. And they stop and reverse to short now on crude. At forty seven.
So that actually that actually was just an exit. at 47 that being the, th the third trade of the morning so unfortunately that is a very small that's a small loss on the morning actually a little bit more than a small loss YM stop looks like it's down in the 90s now. 96. And looks like unleaded stopped out for a break even. Just missing target two by just a couple of ticks, it looks like. Got as low as 21.72, and our target was 21.70. Unleaded, it, or crude rather, still in the, sh or not, well, not in the, sh in the short, because that was the end of the session. Good morning, Armando. And the YM stopping out. At 687. So that's a one and done on the YM this morning. The Russell was one and done. Pound Aussie was two trades and done. And down mini session on crude, and we've got a back and forth session on unleaded. It's close to break even, and it's Soybeans hit one in a one and done session, so 
that actually ends all the sessions going currently on our six primary charts. Good morning, Mark. Glad to have you in this morning. So we are less than half an hour in and all through all six of our regular charts. Let's see if there was anything. Now let's see where we are on unleaded. So nine o'clock start. That was just a little too early. We pick up the long, a very close reverse to short. The long was at two 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 six. And the short was at oh eight. So that's eighteen ticks. We do get a money management, so we pick up a couple of ticks. So we're down thirty six on two positions. Down 34, then we get the long at 32, and come back short at 09 again, or yeah, come back short at 09. That entry was at 14, yeah, so that would have brought us back to 09. So we said 30, yeah, 32 to 09 is 23. That's 46 and 36 is 82 that we're down. We hit a target two for 65. Brings us to 17. And 09 to... 06 brings us to 14. So 06 to 13. Since that's positive, we will take the, the short. And let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five. That's the short was the sixth trade. So we are, and we just picked up a couple of ticks. And we picked up a little bit there. We're down 14. We picked up yeah, 06 to 12. So we picked up, we're down, we're, we're only down two 
and we actually did get positive. 12 to 11, so 12 or 13 on the entry. It's 13 on the entry, so we... Six to thirteen, that's even. And then we picked up thirteen to twelve. So we yeah, we were two ticks positive on six trades. <laughs> How's that for a break even? The YM is using a fourteen tick range bar on Ninja Trader, which is the fourteen point. Momentum bar on trade station mark. And our start time is 8.30 central time. That's the exchange time for the YM. Which is why we weren't in the long trade. That happened just before our start time and never came back to the entry after our start time. Now, my chart is in Eastern time because I have to choose one time for all of my charts in NinjaTrader. So, unleaded with a basically a break even day on back and forth action. Very small loss on the and we are right at our 10 o'clock mini session for crude. And unfortunately, that tray has gone just a little too far to get in sync with. Already hitting money management. So we're waiting for a new new 10 a.m. trade. So let's take a quick look and see what Catapult did this morning. And Catapult was off to the races before our, before open and hasn't looked back, kind of like the... So no trades in the 935, 8, 8.35 Central mini session there. 10.30 is our next mini session, and so far, nothing, nothing to do there. Questions this morning? There's nothing really left to talk about this morning because we've 
hit POQ on all of all of our charts except for the micro for the catapult. Looking for our first trade of the 10 a.m. session on crude. That short trade that was a fourth would have been a fourth trade in the 9 a.m. session went too far. Hitting money management before we got to our 10 o'clock start time. Or at least hitting hitting it before coming back and giving us an entry. Okay, unless there, unless there are questions, We'll give it about 10 minutes to 10. We'll give it to 10 15 and see if there's anything going on and before I shut it down. This is a good time for questions because there really isn't anything to talk about. We only have the only possibilities we have for trades at this point are the catapult five minute chart, which it's not very anywhere close to a trade at the moment. And won't be open for trades until 10.30 now. There was quite a bit of news right, right around 8.30, and it looks like the market liked what it 
we're seeing in with the with the at least two red label reports. One note today is the official rollover date for the ES, RTY, and YM, but the volume has not transitioned yet. I would expect it to transition tomorrow or Monday to the September contract. So be aware of that. And our energies, crude and unleaded, should roll to the August contract sometime next week. Probably around next Thursday or Friday. And there is a, our 10 a.m. long session trade, a long at 70.43. And that triggers in. That looks like we have about an 18 tick target. For target one on crude, just below the session high. All right. Okay, and we here we and we're still still well before our, our start time the next session on the micro ES. 
But we're about to get a trade set up, it looks like. Coming up at 10.15. And we'll follow, follow this crude trade through. I don't have, I've got the micro ES catapult up over it because it, the pound Aussie was already complete. We had a break even on this yellow long trade. And then we had a target one on the, this next yellow long trade that, and it did survive stop and reverse because when you adjust this stop and reverse it's at 49 and we didn't we only got as low as 49.5 so we did survive and stay long so then we picked up a target one so it's not a not a big day on the pound aussie Bring it up big. You're quite welcome, Roger. So we had our initial trade here. I'm sorry, excuse me, that was that was our second trade. Our initial trade was right here. Just barely hit money management, which was up beyond target on my chart. Actually, on trade a day, it was we didn't we just didn't get to target. We got got to money management, but not target. So we got a break even there. We got in the second long here at eight forty two. That. Went up, actually, excuse me, that's the, yeah, that was actually our first trade. It was 842. Hit money management. Trade a day was a little bit higher. I actually just missed target one on my chart by two, two ticks for a break even. Came back for a second long trade at 907, 907, 18. Triggered in, survived the stop and reverse at 49. As this is at 53, that would come to 51 and key level to 49. And that adjustment kept us in, in the long trade, which ultimately worked its way out to a target one and then came back and stopped out for a six, one pip on the additional positions. No problem, Sam. So it was a POQ session on two trades this morning for the Pound Aussie. Everything was positive POQ except crude and crude on the 9 a.m. session. Crude is in its first 10 a.m. session trade. Unleaded, unleaded gas got to two tick positive on six trades with only one target two winner in the mix. I don't think it had any full, it didn't have any full losses, but it only had the one target to win as well. So. Just back and forth or break back and forth or break even. So we go long. Stop and reverse to short, gets a break even. 
get it long. That stops in reverse back to short. For our one target, two winner, that left us 17, and we picked up three ticks on the trailer. So we're 14 down after that trade into the long trade that stops and reverses at 09 for actually a three tick positive. So that was sitting there. So yeah, excuse me. That was, no, we weren't positive because that was but 06. To, yeah, that's right. 06 to 09 because the stop and reverse brought us to 09. So just three ticks. Uh, six, so we're down eight. Just missing a target two there. I, I think with at two ticks there, I would have probably taken the target one, and especially given how close we were. Take the target one and be done. Yeah, target one there was 27 ticks, so that would have put us all right, positive 19 plus a couple plus one there, positive 20. That would have been a good exit. But if you just played it straight, you're down six after the break even. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, actually, we were, were, we were down six because I forgot about the stop and reverse adjustment on that one. So, yeah, definitely taking a trade for profit. There would have been the, the way, to, way to get out of that one, being knowing that that was the last trade. And a stop and reverse potential on crude. At our natural stop at 19. So, yep, that's stop and reverse at 19, which was the stop on the original long trade. Money management at 06. And targets at 04 and 94.
So watching the crude trade now in the short. So no. another slow price action day on crude. Yeah, I'm having some bandwidth issues, Don. And it seems to be the port that I'm on, or actually the, it seems to be off the laptop. I got to get, get my desktop running again. Because I noticed that I'm buffering quite a bit. Because even if you're set at 1080p, unless the stream is actually getting to you at that at a bit rate that will support that, it's still going to show up a little bit blur uh, at 720, which is not going to give you as quite as fine a resolution. So yes, it will be a little little tough to read if, if it's coming in like that. And I notice that happens to me with Troy as well.
And back and forth action. Just price going nowhere on crude. Okay, looks like we are, did get in sync with the short. On the micro ES. Back to our entry, entry point on crude. much going on. Okay, folks, well, looks like we're getting a pullback on the, the Russell down in its session, setting new session lows. Micro ES getting close to target one on Catapult. In fact, I think that was target one. Thirty-six twenty-five for target one. And yeah, we got to within one tick. We got the thirty-six fifty.
Staying just two. There's within two ticks now. Back to three, two. Bouncing around. And getting it getting down to exactly target, there it is again. Move stops to break even. So that will be a one and done session for the ten thirty session or the nine thirty session actually. Nine thirty Eastern time is the Start time for this mini session on Catapult ES trade plan. Target two at thirty four fifty, and there that there's target two. Crude starting to move as well. Crude testing its two hundred EMA. Needing 06 for money management, 04 for target. Target 3 at 32.50. Slowing down. So that is a definitely going to be a POQ session for the 930 Capital TS. And crude, unfortunately, still not being able to do much. And 200 EMA on crude at 70.09 seems to be providing support. So 
and gotten down to 7012. And getting down to 7011. And the Russell and the YM continuing downward. Yes, following, but not quite as quickly, it doesn't look like. But that's a difference in range bar versus just a five-minute five chart. The ES is on the five, micro ES is on the five-minute chart. The Russell and the YM are both on range bars. The Russell is on a one and a half point range, range bar, and the YM on a 14 tick or 14 point momentum bar for trade station in both cases. 15 tick range for the Russell on the on Ninja Trader and a 14 tick range for the YM on Ninja Trader. Okay, we did get down to 32.50 on the micro ES, so that is target three. Target four and the trailer are all that remains. And our stop is sitting at... 3925, I believe. Thir uh, th 39 even. 4239 even. Yeah, it may move down a tick. It's starting, it's now starting to, to trail the. 14 EMA, and there's target four. So only the trailer remaining there. Fifteen, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-seven points for fixed targets. On the micro ES.
and crude just not able to get down through the 200 EMA yet. It's like the market's definitely selling off at the moment. Stop moves down to 37.25 on the ES catapult chart. And we've hit money management on the crude chart. So we did get a push down through to looks like money management and target one. So a 15 tick target. after the stop and reverse adjustment. And stopping out at 18 for a POQ session. All right, basically just waiting for the ES to, to find its trailing stop at some point. So unless there are further questions, I'm going to call it a morning. Everyone have a good weekend. Schedule is normal for next week as far as I'm aware. Troy will be in Monday and Wednesday with the crude oil report on Wednesday. I will be in on Tuesday and Thursday. Don't forget to check check your volumes this weekend on the or tomorrow on the the Rus if you're trading the Russell the YM or the ES, ES, micro ES, etc. Uh, that those are, could roll over either tomorrow or likely Monday would be my expectation based on what I was seeing today. And sometime probably middle, middle to the latter part of next week, our energies should be rolling over. 
So everybody have a good weekend. Thank you, Miles. You have a good weekend yourself. And we will see everybody next week.